I don't even want to uh, tell anybody or recommend anybody in uh, a single Indian American to come to America if people like us have problems here in terms of running in the political arena. In America, you have massive amount of uh, rich Indian Americans. We, we might be 1% here, but 50 uh, top companies, if you take, all are run by Indian Americans. How many times have you heard all these Indian American CEOs raising voice against the double standards against Hindus? Whether it's, was it Swatsatya Nadella? Was it Sundar Pichai? Was it uh, uh, Indra Nui? Who did? I want to know. So I would say that Indian American or at least Indian descendant who are actually coming to America for study, for work, for any other reason, for building home, wealth, whatever it is, I need you to know that there is a rising anti-Hindu sentiment at this point of time. The point I'm trying to say here, Vikramji, is the country is not ready yet to accept a Hindu leader. And it's a, it's a very alien concept for America because it's uh, built on Judeo-Christian principles. So my question to Indians would be, why don't you have Hinduness in India? Why don't you have Hindu leaders taking on the leadership and making sure that Hinduness is discussed in, in a top level? Uh, Purnima ji, as you can see, the Jews drive the American economy. Uh, America has to pay by backing Israel in whatever circumstance whatsoever uh, in the Middle East. Uh, now, this is the power of Jewish lobby in American politics or in American social strata. Uh, as far as Indians or the Hindus are concerned, we also have many influential Hindus who are working in US for the last many years. But why? Hindus actually fall short to exercise that pressure upon the American politics to back India in any circumstance. Uh, what's your take on that? The way we were raised was we were told all religions are same. We were told we should embrace everybody. When somebody comes after you and uh, denigrates you, belittles you for your faith, for your identity or for your dots, for your sari, for your uh, food habits, for your uh, culture, for your traditions, for your heritage, for your civilization. Don't you have the right to defend yourself? That doesn't happen in India, that doesn't happen in UK, that doesn't happen in America, that doesn't happen anywhere. So at the end of the day, the problem lies within the Hindu community. We have taken in on short end of the stick, constantly, consistently for millennia. We haven't learned anything from history and we haven't learned a single lesson to stand up for ourselves.